Now, a couple of things around the resources and materials that are needed for this course. There are tutorials and links placed on the Blue Cape security site. There's free tutorials up here. And then there's Build Your Forensic Workstation, which is going to be the main tutorial that we'll be following in this course. And the reason is that this will help us with the instructions and the links we need in order to set up a forensic workstation, starting from installing the hypervisor, installing a Windows guest VM, we'll then enable WSL and install Ubuntu. And then from there, we'll do some com Windows configuration, just some forensic specs, best practices. And from there, downloading and installing the forensics tools that we need just for this course. But you can see there's a couple listed on the site. Uh, they all have links below, but we'll just use a few of those. So this site is something that will guide us through this course. And then the other one is where we have something located on our GitHub repository. So Blue Cape Security slash PWF. There's the practical Windows Forensics GitHub repository. And this is just really important because it does actually host to a couple of scripts that we'll need. First of all, there's a Sysmon script that we'll use to install on our target system for additional event logging. And then there's an Atomic Red Team folder, which includes a script that will actually simulate the attack on the target system. And there's resources. So resources, for example, has some of the analysis notes and templates that we need throughout the investigation later on. You will also see that there is a pretty comprehensive readme attached to this repository. So this explains already a couple of steps of how you could actually be using the script, how to set up target VMs and so on, how to acquire data, setting up a forensics VM and so on. It's something you do not need to do. So this is just for open source purposes. If you want to look into this, there's also a couple of commands that are documented here. Definitely worth it to just give it a look, but not needed for this course. We will have the videos that are guiding us through this setup process in the next couple of sections. And then lastly, if you're looking for help and support, there's a Discord community, there's the Blue Cape Security Discord server that you can join, and I definitely encourage you to do so. If you have any questions or feedback, comments, concerns, I'm more than happy to see those on the server. Once you click on the link, you should be seeing something like this where you can then join the Blue Cape Security Discord server. And within the server, there will be a section just dedicated to the Practical Windows Forensics course. With that being said, and along the lines of the resources and materials, there's a few additional things that we need to keep in mind. So additionally, we should consider that this course is completely based on the do-it-yourself and a hands-on approach. So you will need to build and do everything yourself following my guidance. And I promise you, you will be successful, but it is something where I just won't be able to provide you with any pre-configured Windows VMs or provide you with any shortcuts. And I think that's also a good thing because only if you really go through the exercises and through the labs, then this will enforce the learning experience. And that's the only way to learn and to improve in that area. And every VM and tool that we are using is freely available either in a full or trial mode, or we can also just use them for personal use spaces in our home labs. So that's great. You shouldn't be needing to buy any licenses or have additional expenses. And lastly, the lessons sometimes will include some links to the documentations that I'm showing you. Some of those, especially at the end, there might be some additional attachments, for example, processed files and outputs, just to make sure that I'm sharing with you what you should be having at this point. But everything you do will be based on your own lab environment and the data that you're producing. So make sure that you understand that based on what I'm showing you in my system, won't exactly be the exact same numbers and texts and everything around it that you are seeing. Because again, we will all be setting up our own environment and our own lab. So sometimes things, for example, timestamps obviously will be different. And that's an important part of the forensic analysis, but it will in no way prevent us from succeeding in this course. All right, so now next, let's get started discussing the course roadmap and then dive right into the lab overview.